Hi, my name is Joan King, and today we're going to do a little drawing from a book from Sweden that's been translated into English. It's called Benny's Had Enough by Barbara Lindgren, Olaf Landstrom, and look at Benny. He looks very cranky. Hmm, okay. What we need is, I did a little drawing from the book, and I took some scrap watercolor paper and cut it up. This is heavier, and if you look at it and feel it with your finger, it has a slight tooth. In other words, a texture that picks up the color because we're gonna color it later and we don't wanna do it on typing paper or some thin paper. So any pad that says mixed media or multimedia or watercolor would be fine. Okay, let's go. Now, the head is a simple circle. And then we'll draw the body, which is really a square with curved corners. You see that square, the main body he's sitting on? And the rest is just little things you add on. Okay, let's do the head first. Do it very lightly, so we'll darken it later. So if we make mistakes, it's pretty easy pretty easy to uh, correct. Okay. And we got the basic shape. Now the body, which is really kind of a square, like this. Maybe a little bigger. And then it Let's see, he's about there, from there to there. So we'll put it like this. I'm not measuring, so it won't come out exactly right. We'll round the shoulders like that. And then, let's see. We'll decide where to put his nose. His nose is a circle, but it's sort of flat on the bottom, like a pig nose. And it's over sort of on this area and a little further, a little closer over here. So we'll start over here where we think the nose should go. And it's like this, and then you round it out. Okay, now we got the nose. And then at the top of his head, there's hair, so we'll just do that. Now his ears are about from here over to here, so we'll put an ear here. Kind of like that. And then we'll go over here. Let's see, the ear starts about here. Okay, we'll go over here. And then there's a little curve in this ear that goes like this. All right, so let's put on his arms. He's kind of got his, he's looking very irritated by the whole thing. And then this little arm is out like this. He's got his hands on his hips kind of stuff, you know? Like, hey, don't mess with me. Now his pants come down about here to here, so that's like this. And then he has little straps. Like that. And then he has little legs on the pants like this. And then over here, another little pants leg. And then it goes like this. Then he just has simply straight legs. Little straight legs. And he has two little hoovies like that. And then we will do some grounding with some a little bit of shadowing to kind of anchor him to the earth there. Now let's put in his nose so he can breathe and like that. And then this is like that. Now the eyes are the most important part because the mouth and the eyes, these three little things will show how he's feeling. And his eyes are kind of squinted a little bit. Okay, 
So we want the eye to be close to that nose. See how close it is? So we'll do it right here. It's over, right? They're kind of little round flattened circles like this. See that little round circle? Now we'll go over here. See how far it is over here? It's quite a ways, okay. And then we're going to do another little kind of a small oval. And then we're gonna put in his pupil. Now, uh, that looks kind of funny, but by putting in his eyebrow, we're gonna make him cranky. See, makes a big difference. Now, the final touch would be the mouth, and it's two little lines there. Interesting, huh? Okay, and then he has a sort of a texture on his pants, so we'll just do a little, it looks like his mama knitted his pants. These look like hand knitted pants, you know. Cute. Just a little like that. And then wait, let's do some erasing here. We want to get this erased, this erased. Erase anything that you don't want on. Let's erase over his arm there. And you need a little. Okay. Now, um, Oop, his nose needs to be cleaned up a bit. his little arm on his hip. Okay. There. All done.